Engineering 305, Chapter 4, Problem 31. This has got to be the sixth try at this. It's just been a disaster. Determine the movement of the pointer, figure 431, with respect to the scale 0 when the temperature increases 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and then the coefficients of friction, uh, coefficients of thermal expansion are listed uh, for both steel and aluminum. The key for this problem is figuring out how that thing is going to move. So, and and here is as the steel increases in height here, this steel increases in height there. So, this pin relative to this scale doesn't move. So then it's strictly a matter of how much does the aluminum move relative to the steel. Now, it's a relative thing. If the aluminum doesn't move, if the, if the aluminum were rigid and the steel would move, then it would actually go down. If the aluminum grows and the steel doesn't, then it would go up. So you, you get that. Now, that's what we've got to represent in a relationship. What we know is that the change in height of the aluminum is equal to L times alpha delta T, or T final minus T initial, but they gave that to me as delta T is equal to a positive 80 degrees Fahrenheit, temperature increased. Now, what the question then becomes, what's alpha? Well, we have to treat that, remember, since the steel is growing, it's really the difference between how much the aluminum grows and the steel grows. So the difference in the aluminum is equal to, or sorry, not the difference in the aluminum. Yeah, the difference in the aluminum is equal to L times the difference. Sorry about that. 12.5 uh, micro minus 6.6 .6 micro, 6.6 .6 micro. That's the difference or the net that that changes times delta T. And then the next step, so I could calculate that. The diff delta aluminum is equal to 20 inches times, um, that's going to be what, 5.9, 5.9 micro times 80 Fahrenheit. Oh, this is micro per F, per F. I get my units in there, I get my units wrong. <coughs> <laughs> the Fahrenheit's cancel. That's how I knew I had that incorrect. And now we have to multiply that through. And that is going to give me um, 400. Sorry, I got to do the math. Let me uh, pause you because you guys don't want, nobody wants to watch my calculator skills. So hold on. So you go, that is 9,440 micro inches or or I guess I could rewrite that because that's actually big enough to write 0 0.00944 inches. Now that doesn't represent what it reads out at the scale. That's how much it changes in the aluminum. So I was going to go down. I really want to go up. If this goes up, I'm going to do it in a different color. If this goes up to here that much, that's this delta, then that goes up, well, how much? Well, this is a similar triangle. And this length is one to there. And this length is five. So I take this growth, right? I take that growth and I multiply by five. So delta at the scale is equal to five times the nine four four zero micro is equal to point zero four seven two inches. There you go. Ah, less than a sixteenth of an inch. Still pretty, pretty, pretty small, especially considering this is a twenty-inch tall structure. Um, but measurable nonetheless. Measurable nonetheless. All right. Hope you're doing well. Don't worry, there's more to come.